So a lot of people have been asking me what is done to my car and what makes it look the way it does. So I'm gonna show you guys inside and out everything that I have done to this car. For the most part, most of it is new. I've done a lot of changes that I haven't really been filming. So yeah, let me jump right into showing you guys what is done to this car and we are in the garage, nowhere special. Let's get this video started. So with the front of the car, we start with probably my favorite part is the headlights. So these are the spec detuning LED headlights. I have the carbon fiber eyelids. I think that just makes it pop. It looks more aggressive. Next to go along with the carbon fiber is the carbon fiber canards. And these are just plastic universal carbon fiber canards. They're not anything special, but I did make them fit. The emblem underneath is painted the same color as the car. And then the emblem is just gloss black. Everybody Everybody asked me about this grill. It's an OEM grill. It's not from a speed. It's actually for this car. It's a 2010 Mazda 3 with a 2.5 liter engine. This is the grill that goes with it and it comes painted in like a gray or a dark yeah, just like a dark gray. I think it looks good. It brings that OEM feel to the car and I like it a lot. Next is the red tow hook universal. It's not branded or anything like that. It just makes the car look good. The reason why I got it, funny story, is because when I got the grill, it didn't come with the OEM tow hook cap. So I just needed something and I didn't want to put a racing strap. I think that looked kind of corny, like flapping around. It's actually functional too. So if I ever get stuck, boom. Fog lights, they are wrapped in a neochrome. They got like a blue blue, purple, green to it. I was gonna do my calipers purple, but I kept the red theme, so I'm gonna be changing this soon. Front, um, that's pretty much it. I don't think I'm missing anything. It's pretty OEM. The wheels, these are your Nietzsche Essen M146s. I painted them pretty well, they didn't come out bad. Red Godspeed lug nuts, painted the calipers red with the white Mazda logo. Suspension, I'm running Raceland Primo coilovers. They're pretty cheap. I wouldn't say they are the best route to go with, but they do get the job done. Daily driving is a little bit hectic sometimes on the road with these highways and stuff like that. But like I said, they get the job done for the price. So yeah, basically that is the front side of the car. Now let's go more towards the sides. So the sides, I have my mirrors wrapped in a gloss black with the red pinch stripe carbon fiber door handles all throughout this is your oem side skirt that i got off of ebay your car should come with it but if it doesn't order them on ebay they're like 110 bucks next i would say is my carbon fiber exterior door pillar kit fitment on these is not that good i'm not gonna lie i was pretty upset when i got these because as you can tell they just need to be wider so for now, I'm gonna leave it there, give it its look time. But other than that, I'm not really that satisfied with all this. Those will be gone pretty soon. In the back of the car, I have my rear OEM spoiler painted black, Evil M Mazda painted black. Next is my taillights. My taillights are tinted gloss black. I still need to get this dent fixed. These are your reflectors. I did a video on this. They don't work right now because I have them unplugged when I took my rear bumper off. So I just have been lazy and I haven't put them back on. Next is your eBay diffuser kit for this car. So now going with the performance of the car, I have spec detuning mufflers. They are four inch, I believe. Underneath the car is basically just a straight pipe. I eliminated my second cat and my resonator. So it's just straight pipe from the cat back. All right, it smells good in here now, but yeah, so that's the exhaust. Exhaust sounds pretty good. I want to get a couple more things done to it. So big plans for that. This is probably the last part of the exterior. I have the rear window spoiler. This is painted black. Got this off of eBay. And then my roof wrap is gloss black, but I'm going to be doing a new one soon because as y'all can tell, it's starting to peel up a little bit here and there. So I just need it pretty much updated brand new. That is basically the exterior portion of the car. So now let's go into the end. So with the interior of the car, the first thing that greets you is my bottom door sills. They are carbon fiber with the black and red logo. I feel like it looks good with the silver on silver. 
So next with the interior is your diamond stitched leather mats. I got them in black and white. This is how you know I'm daily driving the car. My foot is always hitting that, so it's starting to peel. So when I get ready for shows and stuff, I'm gonna get some new ones. Next on the interior is these BMW i8 interior lights. They are Bluetooth. Video coming out soon to show you guys how to install these LED lights. You have so many options, so many colors. So next is the steering wheel. So with the steering wheel, I got this. It's a wrap. It goes over your steering wheel and you just have to stitch it yourself so i did stitch the entire steering wheel came out pretty good there's probably some areas like back here that i need to touch up no it is not aftermarket but i'm getting a new steering wheel soon i have two sponsorships working with this car and most of it is interior so i'm very excited to show you guys what's to come next with the interior is my carbon fiber dash kit normal gloss black carbon i love it it makes the vibe in this car a lot more like luxury in a way i do plan to get the entire thing thing carbon fiber especially this i have a new handle coming in i have a boot that's going to be covering this and then i have a new shift boot as well that will match the new one so next is the bride shift boot and the carbon fiber shift knob these are like a universal carbon fiber shift knob nothing special next on the interior is this armrest it is a carbon fiber pattern pretty much to match everything nice little addition next on the car is the engine so with the engine stage two cold air intake from takita it's not a short rim so it does go all the way down and it gets nice airflow from in here i don't know if you guys can see it and i have noticed a better power increase than my short rams other than that megan racing strut bar for my suspension next on the engine is my motor mounts my passenger side motor mount and my bottom motor mount are all cork sport shout out to cork sport for sending this out that thing is a beast let me tell you it does vibrate more but it's a lot better than oem for the way i have my car set up i needed that so yeah that is about it for the engine i have more things coming to it i plan to tune it and get headers so when I get the header put on, the car will sound a little bit louder and hopefully give me some more power, especially with a tune. So next would be my trunk setup. So I have the wood flooring in the trunk and then I have two Comp R 12 inch subwoofers from Kicker. I have an Alpha Sonic, which is a discontinued brand. And these came off of my 1993 Mazda MX-6. We were sponsored by Alpha Sonic. So I had three of these. I just put one of these to power my 212. So everything's been working pretty good. These bump, everybody loves my audio in the car. I got more car parts in here really as a daily driver i can put groceries in here i put my gym bag soon i'm gonna have a new trunk set up with a very special sponsorship that is going to help me take this car to a whole nother level literally to another level so yeah i'm very excited but yeah basically that is the trunk setup so that is a quick walk around around my 2010 mazda 3 it's a 2.5 liter engine. Good little daily driver. It gets the job done, gets a lot of attention. Everybody's been showing mad love for the car lately and I appreciate all the feedback. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Leave a comment down below on this video. I feel like I just need to get, update you guys because I haven't done a video in a very long time. So just to keep growing the channel and make sure you go follow my Instagram so you guys can go ahead and check my Instagram out. But yeah, stay tuned for more to come with this car. I got some big, big plans working for it right what? All right, that is it. Stay tuned for the next video.